Hi, so I just wanted to share with you my DIY Montessori inspired color box. So basically I just cut papers. You can see that I got big pieces of paper in a bunch of different colors, red, yellow, blue, and the three different shades. I just went to Joann's and picked out three different shades that I liked. And then, so that would be color box one. And then these other ones are going to be color box two and three. I believe the th color box three is all the shades, but I only just did three shades for now. That was just easier for me. Um, so we have green, purple, pink, brown, white, black, and gray. And my papers that I cut, I did two of each so they can be matched up. So two and a half inches by two and a half inches. And then, yeah, so I did two of each color. I just started with orange. Um, the thing I'm running into, I guess the issue I'm running into is I don't know how to get these laminated. Um, I don't want to put them on a white piece of paper because I don't want one side to be white. Like I don't want to glue them on a piece of paper. So, um, I do remember doing some research at one point and it was said that you can laminate with, um, let's see, a clothing iron. You know, you can use laminating papers and laminate with that. Uh, tape, packing tape was just a little bit too thin, even for two, two inches. So two inches, it's like 1.88 inch if you look it up <laughs> wide for um, packing tape. And I just, so if you want, you could use packing tape. I just was like, mm, it's just not quite the right size. And I was thinking I could just try the whole laminating with a clothing iron because I don't want to get a laminator just for this. But, and I also don't know how I would keep them in place to laminate them, put to put them through a laminator. Anyway, I, I don't have experience with that. So if you do, then great. Um, and you can think of a better way. Great. So anyway, that's what I'm, the issue I'm running into, but they can still be used even if they're not laminated. It would just make them last longer. Um, and then I'll go ahead and show you the two and a half by two and a half compared to some of these other sizes I was looking at. Um, four by four, three by three, and two by two. Um, I'll just kind of try to show you in reference to my plug here. So two and a half by two and a half is like, it's about halfway just right above the top of that part of this. So if you can kind of imagine that's how big it is and I liked that size, but you know, two by two, you can kind of see how big that is. Three by three. It's just a little bit bigger and then Um, some other thoughts I had with this project is that it could be, you know, a good gift or you could make them to sell or something like that. It could be like a baby gift or just like a toddler birthday gift. Um, have, obviously they can't use them when they're a baby, but eventually they can use them. <laughs> Time flies. So anyway, so there's my color box DIY and good luck with yours.